let us begin again. Why does the craftsman use a sledgehammer to inscribe? Question mark. Good question, loading screen. I don't know the answer. Hang on, I've got to read this. The best description you've ever heard of Devil's Premonition is if you shook someone awake in the middle of the night and screamed at them to describe Twin Peaks, then made a game based off their confused, terrified babbling, that would be Deadly Premonition. I concur. That is a very accurate description of what Deadly Premonition is. And for anyone who wants to get caught up before I play the sequel, I do have the VOD of us playing the original when I was doing it blind. Beyond a couple of meme scenes that CR had shown me over the years. Most notably the sandwich scene, obviously, because everyone's seen the sandwich scene. Jam crisps and whatever the hell else was on them. Ooh, okay, we'll take the Argus. I hadn't seen the FK in the coffee scene prior, though. And we always have the FK in our coffee. Also, you don't need to have seen Twin Peaks, because I've never seen Twin Peaks. Although I am aware of the gist of it. I'm not particularly a fan of weird for the sake of weird. So I don't really like David Lynch's stuff. <clears throat> are they all splitting? Oh, they are because it's a challenge event. I wasn't paying attention. Is that the one where a dude wakes up and everything was actually a dream? No? It's the one where a man is possessed by a rapist serial killer ghost? One percent damage dealt for every 0.2 damage taken for each enemy you kill. Wait, one percent damage? Okay, so for every enemy I kill I gain one percent damage but I take 0.2 percent more damage. That could be written better. You know what, I'll still try it, why not? I mean, the net positive on the damage you're dealing is definitely better, so just don't get shot, forehead, etc. But then one hit from basically anything past a certain point is going to kill us. I am a berserker. What would you like to see me play more of on stream chat since we were talking about that last? Because I've given up on YouTube 1. I don't care about YouTube 1. It's just an archive for anyone who doesn't catch streams. Whatever. YouTube 2, I know what I'm doing with that. Whether people want the, the weird niche games I play or not is up to them. Miniature games, that is. But I would like to grow Twitch and I, I know nothing of Twitch. I know nothing at all of streaming. And no, I'm not going to wear a low cut top or throw a cat or whatever the hell gets you popular on Twitch. Warhammer, I watched a 9th edition game today and I didn't like it. Hmm. Is the Argus Lightning? No. I guess we'll bank on getting a lightning weapon because I don't particularly like any of those. Roguelikes and co-op games. Co-op games, well good co-op games are hard to come by. That's why Valinor and I have resorted to playing Operation Raccoon City together. Resident Evil 6 is a bad game but it's a fun co-op game. It's going to make fun of the game that is. Oh.
Dark Side Detective 2 is out. Well, there, I think the original date on the Kickstarter was the end of summer this year. I would imagine it's been delayed because of COVID, uh, probably. Which one is Warhammer Kill Team? Isn't that the phone game that got ported over to PC and you play Space Wolves? I think I've, I've played a little bit of that one myself. Ooh, Kill Spearman. That, that did too, ooh, Lightning Enthusiast! Yes, yes I am, thank you for noticing. Whenever you inflict shock to enemies, inflict shock on yourself, damage taken plus 10%. Well, why not? That's kind of our build. And when you're shock, in shocks, plus 75% lightning damage. Go back and finish Lovers in a Dangerous Space. We played that exactly once. Give me lightning gun. Oh, have you seen that Capcom's gone on the record as saying please don't call Resident Evil 8 Resident Evil 8? Even though they highlighted VIII in the trailer and then the press release they sent out, which I went back to double check today, specifically says the 8th installment in the popular Resident Evil series. They don't have a clue what they're doing. Maybe they're having second thoughts about counting it as a main game if they bollock something up with it. Oh, cop. Capcom is weird, yes. But it's probably that weirdness that led to them giving so many of their IPs to Steamforge, so I'm not mad about it. Ooh. Well, we used the rocket launcher last time. I'm not going to do it again. They're pulling a code Veronica? What you mean putting it on a console that was destined to die? Hmm. No, that would stack with our Dune Lightning. I think. Oh right, yeah, Code Veronica was the main game, but they changed it and then Resident Evil 3 got thrown together, yeah. Yes, yeah, sorry, I forgot about that. Ooh. I like the Dreamcast, but it doesn't do well. Ooh. I did a thing by accident. Got a shield? Confirm not a shield. Oh, there we go. That was the fire faster proking. Any bullet going through it gains 50% extra damage. Hmm. Any bullet, though. Yeah, lightning in a bubble. I like the GameCube as well, believe it or not. I don't know what it is, I'm always attracted to things that fail. GameCube, Dreamcast, miniature games that have barely anybody to play them. Hello, friendos. Oh wait, no, no, the Wii did very well. The GameCube was, like, fine with gamers, but the Wii was the thing that made Nintendo get, like, a second wind of amazing profits. And then they tried to recreate the Wii's success with the Wii U and failed again. It also doesn't help that the Dreamcast had a massive pirating issue that they could not stop. 
I've told this story before about a friend of mine who's like, oh, you've got a Dreamcast. Do you want any Dreamcast games? I can get them super cheap. They only cost five quid. And I, I grew up very poor. So I was like, hell yeah. Do they have this? Do they have this? And I was like, yeah, it's five pound each. And then eventually I was like, oh, there's this new game out for the Dreamcast. Um, can, I, can I buy it? And they're like, no, sorry, the guy's in jail. Like, what happened? Yeah, he, he was pirating games. Hello, not love. The PSP and Vita failed because Sony didn't know what to do with it. I don't think it was pirating they killed out. That's how I got his criminal connections. I didn't know. I was young and naive and poor, so I didn't ask any questions. Very satisfying gun to use. It looks a lot like... This, this looks like something. What does this look like? It looks like Widowmaker Sniper in the machine gun form combined with... Oh, combined with something else from Overwatch. I don't remember what, though. It's been too long. Oh, yeah, wait, yeah, you're right. The alien... The, the sniper guy's rifle from Halo. Whatever that's called. Yeah, there's a little bit of Zarya in there. Yeah. Yeah. That poison is in. Oh, I can't back up. Neat. We've actually got a pretty solid build going here. I find that shocking. Anyone? Anyone? Plus 10% damage for each curse scrolled. I, I don't think I have one, but whatever. We might get one. You gotta redeem that pun? Okay, hang on, I'll redeem that pun. There we go, I redeemed that pun. Thank you, Davis, for covering my costs. Lord Vanisher. Wait, I shouldn't have said hello to you. Redeem the Tigrates theme. Although I don't actually have any music prepped for the break today. Lazy Sunday and all that. Oh, I did record. I recorded a Crisis Protocol Battle Report today. Guardians of the Galaxy versus Us Guardians. It was a good one. I do say so myself. I, I, actually, I was not happy with the last one I did at all. I was happy with this one. Without going into too much details, Ronin the Accuser is very good. Ow! Well, <laughs> there goes our revive. Oh, we've killed so many enemies, so basically anyone can one shot us now if we get shot. Behold your etceteras, yes. Can I buy my res back? Is there an item that does that? Doesn't look like it. So now, hang on, I'm just trying to see what's the most up-to-date one. Cyblade for peace and tranquility. That's fine, I can play that. I honestly probably would have just uh, ended up playing the KK Slider Life is Beautiful as a last minute thing. Oh, we would get more damage if I do this. Sure. You get Hawkeye Sight. 200% crit X. However, 50% weapon damage when not hitting the weakness. Weapons have a scope. Gain times two zoom. Oh god, this is written like an infinity roll. Still can't use it with this gun, thankfully. Play it. Okay, I will. 
I like Life is Beautiful. I have nothing against it. Um, sure. I believe that may have just made things worse for us, but whatever. We're gonna die to the boss in one hit anyway. Oh, we're not at the boss yet. Well, if we die pre-20 minutes, that's the old roguelike rule. I put another run in the same video. Oh. You're approaching me. I don't think... Well, hang on. We might as well have a look at what kind of challenge it is. All enemies transform. Oh, that's fine. Bring me the horned beetles. Not you. I wasn't aware that all enemies had weak points. Oh, okay, that might save us if we don't die in one hit, but we will definitely die in one hit to the boss, because this big explosion already does too much damage. You hear that? I perish. Well, um, speaking of which, you can still play 9th edition 40k on a 6x4 table, it's just no longer recommended in standard plays, the smaller sizes I was talking about on stream yesterday. Oh, hello. <laughs> The man is a horse, yes. Not a skeleton, though. He's got to go fast. There's gotta be something else alive because the door's still closed, right? Yep. Ow. Woodpecker? on my way. Ow. Insufficient grenade. Those crossbow shots have quite the lock on. one left. I'm waiting for my shield. I might be able to take the hit if my shield's up. Hmm. So the woodpecker does burning. Okay.
The people who work in Games Workshop stores are franchisees, I believe, so it's in their best interest to be nice. Hmm. We have 5 HP. I don't think I should go in there. No, because we're going to get a heal before the boss. Oh, I just noticed that I'm, I'm at 115 stacks of that thing we picked up. Buy the heal first because we definitely need the heal. Have normal speed. You know what? I like that. I guess he sells a perk before the boss. We'll probably die to a single hit, unfortunately, but that's the build we have. Jesus, that's doing a lot of damage, though. <laughs> that's weird, I wasn't hitting him that time. No, oh, I have to hit his head, otherwise it's doing less damage. I've got, I've got the weak point thing. doing a lot of damage. Worse than over guards, fair enough. Sure. It's not giving me any more lightning stuff though. Sure. Wildfire 2. Is that a chest? No. That's a mood and a half. Very surprised we won that, but I am pretty sure he would have one shot if I'd been touched. Game pro oh, right, you can end a run and continue it here if you rest. The trough is for pooping. Not sure what I hit into, but it wasn't what I was aiming for. Nice. There's another sniper, unfortunately, who took off all my shield in one hit. Deft hands. That ain't a hand. It's a paw. Oh, I saw you this time. He loves sneaking up on the player, but I heard... Well, I didn't hear you. I saw you that time. They're surprisingly sneaky for how large they are. I didn't have time to read what it does, but it got me an achievement. from that bloody samurai skeleton sniper ninja. I think he died? He did die. Hello chum. Make my lightning gun better? No, no you're not. Ah, huh, there's multiple ways to go. You can go that way, you can go that way. Oh wait, no, they're blocked off. Never mind.
All I can hear is the vultures. Oh, this looks suspicious. Oh, misjudged. Oh wait, there's no penalty? Hang on, I think I can do this in one jump from here. Eh, not quite. Unless... No, not quite. Okay, you have to do it properly. It was on cooldown. The cooldown on your dash is quite long. Okay, wait. Wait. I see that chest. Uh, here? Nope. Oh no, can I not? Oh no, I can't get back. Where did I jump after going there though? I, mean, I think maybe if I'd done it a little bit tighter. Yeah. Challenge event hard. Complete the stage within the limited time for additional. I'm not ready! This also appears to be the way out. Oh, you know what this is? This is a corner jump. Almost did it. <sighs> it's very difficult. <laughs> They're not lying. Hello, weird team. Let me quickly check over here. I want to see if this would be easier. Is this cheating? No! No! I slid! Uh, I was also stuck. Okay. Take it nice and slow. Oh wait, there's an additional chest. I see. Ooh. You don't get any upward momentum on the dash. Well, I might as well see if I can quickly do it in 24 seconds. Fell straight off that time. How do you know how to speak bird? No! It keeps on dashing me sideways and not forwards. Actually, maybe that's what you're supposed to do. And it is dashing me sideways. Okay, so in that case you must have to do it this way then, where you don't fully turn, you do that. Because I was I was holding just forwards there and it didn't dash me forwards. That time it does dash me forwards. Never mind, let's just leave. That was a fault of the buttons there. Corrosive, powerful soldier. This is how we die. Unless you do something silly like try and attack me on a tight corner. Nope. 
That's where I left my skeletons. I should really try and get a screenshot of one of those for CR. We're up to 133 stacks, incidentally. I saw the other one. Skeleton got replaced by a double. Uh... Okay, he was lodged in that rock. Oh, well, speaking of getting shot through rocks, pretty sure that rock's not supposed to be there because that enemy walked through it as well. I imagine the second area is currently all that's in the game anyway, so that would explain why it's not quite. Ooh, new okay, this is different. Allows the weapon with Gemini inscription to appear in adventure. Gemini inscription. Activated when two weapons have the same Gemini inscription. And it is extremely powerful. Okay. Weapons have a higher chance to have exclusive inscriptions. That's just like their passive bonuses, I think. Because weapons don't have set stats, they have like randomized stats. They have their basics, like they always fire like this, etc. But then the bits at the bottom are randomized. Ooh, see, I want that, but that's a boring upgrade. Yeah, I want the max shield and the max uh, decreased damage taken because you take way too much damage from the hard stuff. But I have no idea what this means. Let's do this and say cool. That was a good build, though. None will be consumed in the next two seconds with killing an enemy or destroying an item. Fair enough. Rainbow? Fire a ray that all locks onto a nearby enemy? Hmm. Neat. 